Hello everyone, and welcome back! And as you can see right in front of us today, we're going to be looking at Planet Zoo's Southeast Asia Animal Pack. Now, yes, I did say before in my last video that I'm only going to be doing one video a week, but this was unexpected, and yes, I know this came out like a few hours ago. Um, but honestly, this was still a very big surprise to me. So what I'm going to do first is that we're going to watch the video and then we're going to discuss about it a little bit. We're going to discuss afterwards and see what's going on in this pack. I've already watched it, but if you guys haven't seen it yet, which at this point you might, but if you haven't, enjoy. And there we have it, coming in March, March 30th. So with this DLC, we are given eight animals, as you saw by the trailer. And in this, we actually get... Now, of the eight animals, we actually get... Uh, well, seven habitat animals and one terrarium animal. Uh, the seven are... The Clouded Leopard, the Sun Bear, the Proboscis Monkey, the Binturong. I had a feeling Binturong was going to be in the next DLC, because with Sun Bear, I was like, hmm, this is probably going to turn out to be a Southeast, like Southeast Asia DLC, but, it, but here it is. Here it is. Uh, the Malayan Tapir. So guys, if you have that DLC that makes your tapirs Malaysian tapirs, you don't need it anymore. <laughs> um, the Asuri Dole, which if you guys don't know what a Dole is, it's a wild dog. It's just a smaller wild dog. Um, which, interesting fact about Doles is that in a big pack, they can actually drive off tigers. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, the North... Sulawesi, Sulawesi, Barbarossa, which we saw for a quick little bit, but I'm actually really glad that we're getting another pig into the game because we've only had the warthog and we haven't had any other pigs, which is kind of surprising why none, like they haven't done wild boars yet. Um, but still, Barbarossa. So if you have a mod for that as well, time to get rid of it. There's no point in having these mods in if animals are already going to be in them. You can have them now. You, like, you could still have them in your game now, but by the time the 30th comes around, you might, you might just get rid of them. And for the terrarium creature, we get the giant Malaysian leaf insect. Um, those are the eight animals. Now, we even get a, we even get this really cute picture of an adult sun bear and her his or her two cubs. Now, another fact about the sun bear is that the sun bear is actually one of the smallest bears in the world. It is smaller than the sloth bear. It is small. It is way smaller than the polar bear. Um. So this is probably going to be your smallest bear in the game, and I know there's like a huge debate on the red panda being like either belonging to the raccoon family, its own family, or even in the bear family. There was a big dispute on that. Um, so that's why I'm just saying one of the smallest bears, and if the red panda is not in the bear family, which might not be, um, then here you go, smallest bear in the world. But if it is, one of the smallest. But, uh, I've seen Best in Slots video, and I agree with him. It's 
Sun Bears are my favorite bears. They've actually been my favorite bears for a few years now. Um, before I even knew what Sun Bears were, I... My favorite bears were, you know, the most common one out there, and that's the Grizzly Bear. And mostly because I was grown up with that one. But Sun Bears became my favorite. Um, not due to, like, their long tongues or their claws, but of how they look. I like how they look, and I like the other names that they have. Like, <clears throat> like honestly, like obviously, their name is the Sun Bear, but they also have other names, like uh, the Honey Bear. I know that's one of them. Um, I think they have one more name. I can't remember what the other name is, but... I know that the other name is Honey Bear, and I'm just like, wow, this is Pooh Bear's cousin. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really glad that Sun Bears are in the game. I really love Sun Bears. Uh, Clouded Leopards, yes! Finally, we get a leopard in the game. I mean, sure, it's not an African leopard, um, but I had my like suspicions on it that we were going to have a leopard in the South Asia. Asia. South Southeast Asia back to where it's either where I thought it was either going to be a Persian leopard but then it was like no that's Persian that's not Southeast so I kind of had a feeling it would either be a leopard from Southeast Asia or like, not the clouded leopard but a different type of leopard um but I'm actually glad it's the clouded leopard um proboscis monkeys Proboscis monkeys are obviously known. You, if you've seen many of the other YouTubers' videos, like Best in Slots, you know proboscis monkeys ha are most well known for because of their giant noses. Um, however, that's only shown on the males, not the females. The females don't have that big proboscis of a nose. They have only like eh, basically like a normal nose, almost. Um, but males don't. Males actually use them to help warn off, warn their group or help drive off males. Um, because in the troop, there's only going to be one male in that troop. And it's going to be the alpha. So there will be fights if you put in two males. Unless it's like a bachelor thing, then that's something. Uh, Binturongs. Binturongs are very interesting. Uh, I know, like, a few things, like, they've been known to be called, like, Bearcats or something like that? I might have something edited on the corners saying something else. Um, but the one thing that I, well, the one interesting fact that I know about them other than them being omnivorous, is that they have a smell of popcorn. That like that's their scent. Their scent's like popcorn. So that's a little that's a little interesting. Malaysian tapirs. Um, I will agree with Best in Slot. They're mostly in like every zoo. So yeah. <laughs> um, like in Colorado, the Colorado Spring Zoo. I remember going there. I saw a Malaysian tapir. Um. Of course, that was breeding-wise, I saw it. Uh, my sister was scarred for life. <laughs> um, me, I was like, that, they're breeding. <laughs> Next thing you know, she's like, <gasps> just walks away. Said about the dole, about like them being in big packs to where they can even drive off tigers. Uh, the Barbar Barbarusa or Barbarusa. Now, guys, the Barbarusa is a very interesting wild pig due to its tusks. And I, I haven't really researched on Barbarusa, but I actually agree with Best in Slot and Best in Slot on that as well. Like the upper tusks can be used as shields and the. Two other tusks can be used as the offensive. 
I actually think that. But, however, like the proboscis monkey, they're only on the they're only on the male, not the female. And the giant Malaysian leaf insect, obviously by the name, use it due to its leaf-like body, uses that as a cam sort of camouflage against predators. Um. So yeah, in this pack, it is a animal pack, not a DLC. Like, not just a continental DLC, because if it wasn't an animal pack, we wouldn't be getting eight animals. We would have been just getting five. And a few decorations. But why no decorations? Well, the reason of that is because... Asia decorations are pretty much done. There, There's no need for any decorations. We've had those decorations like since the beginning. There's no need to put them in now. Um, or to put any more. And as you can see, it's also in my wish list. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Okay, well, I guess other than that, that'll have to conclude this video. So guys, if remember this will come back this will come out in March 30th. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.